Hello, my darlings, and welcome to Voices from the Sea. This is apparently a very sweet visual novel, which is what I'm in the mood for. So if you're in the mood for that, let's, like, do it. I'm assuming water's involved, and that's about as far as I got. <laughs> so, uh, let's start a new game. New keys unlocked. Start game, quit game, next dialogue, up and down, okay. Hide or unhide. Open or close save, open or close load, oh goodness. Item sound, oh gosh, I'll forget all of this. Hold the key to skip dialogue quickly, I won't want to do that. Okay, cool. <clears throat> noises. I can hear nothing but noises. Day Zero Prologue. Like a radio without channels. Oh! Never-ending buzzes, disturbing my mind. I don't remember when I no longer had the desire to tune my channel. Whether it's at home... Kansas, how many times do I have to tell you not to do that? Now listen, I'm telling you this for your own sake. Don't you dare talk back to me! Or at school... Hey, Kansas, did you hear about this rumor? That boy in the other class, he totally went to the beach and... Oh, come on, don't be such a bore. Just listen to what I gotta say, man. Noises. They're nothing but noise after noise. They can only get louder with each passing day, never letting me go. The sea. It's as blue as ever. Lately, I've been visiting this place more often than usual. Very few people come here. Nope. I was trying to see if the scroll wheel would work. Most kids my age prefer hanging out with their friends or playing video games. On the other hand, I could sit here all day just listening to the fleeting waves. The sound of them hitting the shore. In and out, in and out. It's so mesmerizing. This is the only place where I could find solace. I don't have to hear any more noises. I don't have to tune my channels just to be part of others. I can just be myself. Boopity boop. Hey! Listen! I jump out of my seat as if a jolt was sent down my spine. Huh? What did I just hear? The sound that broke the silence. Was it someone's voice? What a strange sensation. It's as though I haven't heard one in a long time. With all those noises around me lately, it's no wonder I felt that way. Hey! Can you hear me? Finally! Finally, I got your attention! An unfamiliar figure stands in front of me. A girl my age. It's clear she's the source of the voice. The instant I saw her, I felt as though I just saw the blue sea. I'm not sure why. Aw, she's a cutie. Hey, what's your name? Uh-huh. Once again, she catches me off guard. It was just a few seconds later before I could regain my composure. Uh, my name's Cantus. Cantus? She repeated what I said with her pair of curious eyes. Oh, what a beautiful name! W uh are you serious? That was purely out of reflex. What is this girl saying? Uh, sure, why not? She answered nonchalantly. Cantus! Cantus! The more I say it, the more I like it. Don't you think so? No, I don't think so. I never heard anyone say that to me before. Not even my mom thinks that way. She probably came up with it when she was in the toilet. Ha! <laughs> oh, well, aren't you the serious type? Be great if Cantus could lighten up a bit. Right? Aren't you the cheerful type? Too cheerful, if I gotta say. It'd be great if you could just, like, tone it down a bit. Upon hearing my answer, she freezes for a minute. A few seconds later, she bursts into laughter. What's so funny? I was taken aback by her reaction. It's not uncommon for people to laugh at me. I usually just brush it off and walk away when they do. But her voice that echoes in the wind is strangely captivating. I can't look away. Okay, let me guess. Cantus doesn't have many friends. Ugh. It's not that I don't have many. It's that I have none. So, suck it. Oh. Yeah, you got a problem with that? No, not at all. I get to be Cantus's first friend. It's perfect, isn't it? Uh, as usual, her response is totally out of the ordinary. I was rendered speechless. Maurice is my name. 
It's nice to meet you, Cantus. Can't, 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 can't. <laughs> oh, oh my. This is my fateful encounter with her, the mysterious girl by the sea. I still remember those voices. Voices from the sea. Hey, that's the name of the game! Hey! Whoa! Aw, oh, we met a little water girl. Ooh. This music reminds me of the game. <gasps> it reminds me of Chrono Trigger. This reminds me of the music when you're uh, when you're in the floating city. <gasps> anyway. Hey, girl. You're cute. Can I have your number? Okay, what do we think she is? Is she... Like... A water spirit? Is she just a totally normal girl? That would be boring. She won't wind up being just a totally normal girl. She's got to be like a water something. <gasps> a mermaid who got her bottom half swapped. Or a seahorse. Wait, yeah. Not a mermaid. A mermaid would be too boring. Maybe you're a seahorse girl. <laughs> Aw. Cantus. He's like, whatever. I don't want friends. Aww. Ah, oh, you guys are so cute. I can't. I hope I hope this ends happy. <laughs> I'd be really sad if it doesn't. No! It washed away our footprints! Our feet prints. Ah, oh, now you can skip stuff. It's snowy. He is cold, distant, and isolated. Wait, is the weather report reflecting Kansas's mood? <laughs> Aw. Maurice is my name. It's nice to meet you, Cantus. Maris. I repeat in an attempt to register her name. Oops! Yep, Maris. Cantus and Maris. A match made in heaven, don't you think? And there she goes again. Speaking outlandish things like that without any trace of discomfort. Ugh, stop it! This is embarrassing. Cantus is a big boy. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm 13. I'm still a kid. 13? What a coincidence. What? Are you like the same age as me or? Oh, unlike you, Maris is a big girl. What kind of response is that? So, what's a 13 year old kid doing all alone on the beach? Nothing. I just like staring at the sea is all. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Yeah, leave me alone. Once again, she crumbles my composure I've tried so hard to maintain. Look, I don't just sit here and do nothing, okay? There are lots of interesting things to do here. Okay, like what? You can listen to the waves. And they're awesome. Oh, that's it? Is that all you do? One look at her face and you can tell she is not convinced. Well, you can also look for seashells, so... Oh. What? Why do you look at me like that? Unable to bear the silence, I continue. The only things in this world that can rival the beautiful sea are seashells. You got a problem with that? I'm so aggressive about the sea. No, it's just that... I don't know, that's so embarrassing. Leave me alone. I look away in an attempt to hide my face. It's probably bright red right now. I don't usually care what others think of me. That's why my own reaction surprises me more than anything. To think a mere comment from a girl I just barely met could make me this flustered. No, this will not do. Gotta do something. Oh, change the topic or look look for seashells. That's right. 
I'll show her. Seashells are awesome. I'm sure even a weird girl like her could appreciate beautiful things. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, I found one. Boop. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nailing it. You can only keep one seashell per day. Do you want to keep this? Yes. All right, this should do. Hey, look what I found. Oh, it's beautiful, right? Now you can't make fun of me anymore. I was so confident I prematurely announced my victory. What are those? They look like fingers. That's kind of creepy, don't you think? What? Look, look at the colors and the unique shape and the textures and stuff. How can you call something this beautiful creepy? I resisted with every fiber of my being. Yet it's as if she was poking fun at my retaliation. She bursts into laughter a few seconds later. Maurice thinks it's pretty too. Can I have it? Ugh. Just take it. Yeah! Thank you, Cantus. This girl. She is beyond my comprehension. I'm beginning to feel the futility of trying to understand her. It's getting late, so I'm gonna go home. Already? If I don't, Mom's gonna nag me. It's a pain, so... I see. She looks disappointed. Will Cantus come again tomorrow? Yeah, but... You're not coming too, are you? Of course! Mary's has yet to see Cantus smile! Hey, come on! Stop that! What are you doing? I've been hanging out with you all day, but you haven't smiled, not even once! Well, I don't see any reason to, so only idiots smile for no reason. Then I'll give you a reason. Give me seven days, and I'll make you smile. What? Okay, Cantus? You're weird, like super weird. Okay, Cantus? Okay, fine. Sure. Gosh, did you stop? Yay! It's a promise, then. Yeah, just do whatever you want. I will. I wonder why I didn't refuse her that day. Her words are like the ocean's wave, sweeping me away. I can only go along with it. Where will this current lead me? Only time can tell. <laughs> oh, no, Stormy! Within him is a storm that never ends. Day two. Oh, there's only seven days? Oh, no, what's gonna happen on day seven? Okay, just live in the moment. A day has passed since I met her. At that time, I didn't know what she would bring to my life. I thought it was just another one of those mundane days. Candace, look at what I made for you today! It's your favorite chicken pot pie! You should eat it while it's still warm! I don't know why my mother sounds like this. I don't- I don't know what happened here. Maybe I need to- Because it's a radio. You should eat it while it's still warm. Uh. How is it? Is it good? Uh. You know, the other day I met, and she was bragging about how awesome her son is. He's so good at academics and sports. Noise. Huh? I'm leaving. Wait, I'm not done talking. At least finish your food. Cantus! Slam. And welcome to the jam. So rebellious. Welcome to the jam. I've been there before. Way to ruin the day right from the get-go. Cantus is the worst! His mom was like, I made pot pie for you. Let's talk. And he's like, whatever, mom. Jeez. Jeez, Cantus. Ugh, way to ruin the day right from the get-go. I don't really need to hear how other kids are doing better than me, mom. Ugh. Guess this is the only place where I won't have to deal with noise. Cantus! Just before I could relax, a voice interrupts me. Ugh, that voice. Followed by it is the sound of footsteps running across the sands. It doesn't take long before that familiar figure stands right in front of me. I've been waiting for you! Ugh, crap, I totally forgot about her. Are you ready for round two? Round two? What are you talking about? Uh, you're so forgetful, Cantus. They think you're just- To think! To think you're just 13! <sighs> okay, fine, so what is it? We promised yesterday, didn't we? Maris is going to make you smile in seven days. Oh, that. Come on, you got to be more excited. Maris is so excited, she couldn't sleep all night. All night? Don't you have to go to school? That's not important. What's important here is how to make you smile. Right. Maris is really confident this time. All right, here goes nothing. 
Once upon a time, there was a troubled man, and on the way home, he stumbled upon a bookstore. And there, he discovered a book that's said to be able to solve 50% of your problems. The troubled man decided to buy two of them. Do you know why? Because he wants to solve 100% of his problems! It's funny, right? What? Was that supposed to be funny? I thought funny stories make people happy. Uh, it might work if it's actually funny. Ugh, boo. Fine. Maris has another one. I think this one's funnier. Okay. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a loving couple, and on the way home, they stumbled upon a cake shop. Unable to make up her mind, the girl decided to choose two cakes instead of one, and her boyfriend told her that she can't pick two. So what do you think she did? She decided to pick three! <laughs> it's funny, right? And then there was silence. Uh, okay, maybe not. Ah, oh, Maris failed again. Huh? No way, she looks like she's gonna cry. Uh, what do I do? Look for seashells! <laughs> okay, fine. Let me tell you a funny story. Huh? Do Cantus know how to tell funny stories? Uh, of course. But Cantus doesn't look like the type who knows how to do that. It's not rocket science. Anyone can do it. Okay, here goes nothing. So once upon a time, there was a creature who wanted to have fun, and it decided to give three movie tickets to its wife, and the wife asked, why three? And then it replied, it's for you and your parents. Now that is what you call a funny story. The long silence returns once more, except this time it is twice as awkward. Maybe Maris has no sense of humor. Huh? No way, she looks way more depressed than before. Well, this won't do. Gotta try something else. That's right, she liked the seashell I gave her yesterday. Maybe that'll cheer her up. Okay, here goes nothing. Boop! I found a seashell! Do I keep it? Yeah. Alright, this should do. Hey, look what I found! Oh! I know you liked the seashell I gave you yesterday, so... I don't know, you can have this, I guess. You're gonna give this to Maris? Don't make me say it twice. But what kind of seashell is it? I don't know. I thought Cantus liked seashells. Doesn't mean I know everything about them. Gosh. You can just call it whatever you want. Really? Okay, then, uh, what should I call it? It's spiral like somebody's belly. Let's call it Cantus belly. Where the heck did you get that from? Huh. <laughs> well, at least it cheered her up. I hope. Oops, what? Wait. Uh... Oh, what? Oh god. I'm trying to back up, but I can't. Why did Kansas give this to Maris all of a sudden? Uh, it's nothing special. I just thought you looked down or whatever, so... Oh, you're trying to cheer me up! Thank you, Kansas. You're so sweet. Ugh. I don't even know why I did it. She's always so cheerful. Obnoxiously so. But for some reason, I find it harder to see her upset. Wait a minute. Something's wrong here. Uh, what? I should be the one cheering you up, not the other way around! Ugh, don't cheer me up anymore, okay? Sorry, but you're not really making any sense, so... It's not like I'm depressed or anything. Besides, why are you doing this in the first place? What's the point of making me smile? Maris wants to see you smile. I'm sure Cantus has a pretty smile. It's just a smile. I don't see why you have to be so persistent. There are lots of smiling people out there, so you don't have to see mine. No, it has to be Cantus. If you're not smiling, wouldn't that mean that you're not happy? And Maris wants to see you happy. Ugh! I'm not happy? I don't remember when the last time was that I smiled, but... Am I that unhappy with my life? I never really gave it that much thought. I just do whatever you want. You said that yesterday! Just so you know, I'm not gonna smile for, like, no reason. Only idiots smile for no reason. You said that yesterday, too! You might just be wasting your time. Well, you never know until you try, so... Doesn't seem like I can change your mind. Yeah! You're weird, you know that? Ha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you said that yesterday, too. It was a conversation that went nowhere. It was probably meaningless, too. Yet, it was oddly relaxing. As relaxing as sitting on the beach all day, listening to the fleeting waves. That day was just another one of those mundane days. And yet I can't say I hate it. It's stormy! 
It's a storm that never ends. Day three. <gasps> the school. An institution designed to educate people. A place where people learn new skills and hope one day they can be useful. At least that's how it's supposed to be. But for me, it's an inescapable hell. Like, really, which moron thought forcing people to learn is a good idea? Learning is fundamentally useless if somebody doesn't want to learn. Cantus! Yo, what are you doing here talking all by yourself? No, it's you. Yep, it's me, Gario, your number one source in school. Right. Huh, what have we got here? School's number one antisocial boy is finally responding to me like a normal person? This is breaking news. What are you talking about? Stop making noises, you're worse than a fly. That's your usual response. Now you're really sounding- Oh, now you're really- now you're really- now you're really sounding like a fly. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> I knew it. There's something different about you today. You don't usually say anything more than a sentence, let alone hold a conversation. Did something good happen to you? Uh... First thing that comes to my mind is... I don't know if you can call that something good. What is it? What is it? Ugh, I just met somebody by the beach, okay? Whoa, really? That is some breaking news. To think there's someone who can interest you. You can see the excitement in his eyes. Come on, tell me more! What's the name of this unfortunate person? What do you mean unfortunate? Is it a girl? Is it a girl? If so, what's her name? What does she look like? He dodges my remark and presses on, buzzing non-stop in my ears. Gotta admit, he's definitely living up to his name. An annoying fly, that is. <sighs> Her name is Maris, and I think she's around our age. I replied despite my initial hesitation. Maris? I don't know anybody with that name. Yeah, me neither. Oh, don't compare me with an antisocial boy like you. I'm the number one source in school, remember? I know pretty much every kid in this island. Right. Oh, don't you go rolling your eyes at me. You don't know how awesome my networking is. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving. Wait, hold on. I'm not done talking. Hey! Yep. Hell. School. The noisiest place ever. Just get me out of here. God, I'm the worst. Cantus! <laughs> you look happy. Yeah, of course. I get to meet Cantus again. I don't think I'll ever get used to this. You ready for round three? This again? Come on, it's just the third day. There's more to come, so you better be prepared. I can feel sweat accumulating on the back of my shirt. What's it going to be this time? Rest assured, Maris shall put everything to an end today. I am definitely going to make you smile this time. Sometimes you can't help but wonder, where does she get all her confidence from? Okay, here I come. What? It's time for Magical Barris! Take my special attack! Ocean Therapy Evolution! Uh... Ocean what? Ocean Therapy Evolution! It's a cool name, right? Right. That's strange, why isn't it working? I'm trying to use my magical powers and cheer you up. Magical powers? Actually, Maris has a huge secret. Maris is a magical girl. Don't tell anybody, okay? Uh... So, how is it? Did you feel Maris's magical powers? Sure, in all sorts of ways. I am so speechless, I totally don't know how to react. Boo, I thought it was going to work this time. Cantus doesn't even look surprised. Nope, I am plenty surprised over here. Really? Are you surprised Maris is a magical girl? It would look way more convincing if you had a better costume. Huh? What do you mean? Isn't this how magical girls look? No, that is nothing like what magical girls look like. No way! I thought all you needed to do is get a disguise and then people wouldn't recognize you and then you shout random nonsensical stuff. Oops, whoa, what just happened? Uh, oopsies. Uh, oopsies. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Well, it's not entirely wrong if you put it that way. So, which is it? Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, seriously? Is she really that clueless? 
All right, fine. Let me give you a better example. Ah, This is totally how you should look. Beautiful, graceful, enchanting. For one, your costume's gotta have more frills and ribbons. Not to mention lots of accessories, preferably with wings. Pink, super recommended. Last but not least, a magic wand to complete the picture. That is what you call a magical girl. No! Oh, Maris looks nothing like that! Maris is shocked. Uh, that should have been my line. I'm mortified that I know more about magical girls than she does. Hey, let's do something else. Cantus wants to be a magical girl too? Where the heck did you get that from? Okay, just stop. Just stop with this. Let's look for seashells. Her face lightens up. Okay! Burp. Found a sea whelk. You wanna keep it? Yup. Alright, this should do. Look. Look what I found. Oh, you're so fast! Where'd you find that? It's a pretty large whelk. You can hear something if you put it close to your ears. Really? Whoa, you're right! I can hear the sound of the ocean! That is super magical, like a magical girl! Yeah, this is what you call real magic. Yeah, it's just as awesome as Maris's magic, don't you think? Uh, can someone please tell me how to answer that? <laughs> anyway, how long are you gonna wear that disguise? What are you talking about? It's a super awesome disguise. Yeah, it's super silly disguise. Can't take you seriously. Boo! There's no way I'll ever get used to this. Is she always like this in front of people? Come to think of it, I don't know anything about her. Like, what is she doing here all alone at the beach? Why would she insist on befriending me? And that unusual speech pattern of hers, does anybody talk like that nowadays? The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. There are just too many things I don't understand. Hey! Yeah? Uh, it's nothing. What's wrong? Do you want to ask Maris something? She gazes at me, as if she's understood what's on my mind. Are you sure you're okay hanging out with me? Yeah, of course! Maris is Cantus' first friend! I knew she would say that. Oh, by the way, Cantus isn't Maris' first friend. Cantus is my second friend. Seriously? Yep! Maybe weird, but thought somebody like you would have dozens of friends. <laughs> Maris doesn't need that many friends. Just Cantus will do. Wait, but what about your first friend? Oh, well, we never met again. Uh, why? Don't tell me... Oh, don't worry, it's nothing like that. I'm sure she's fine, even though we can't meet again. Oh, speaking of which, she's a lot like Cantus, the super serious type. I wonder if you guys are related, like siblings. Oh my god, what if it was my mom? Oh my god! What if... What if the first one was my mom? Looking for connections that aren't there. Like usual, self. Huh, I wonder if you guys are related, like siblings. I don't have any siblings. I doubt my relatives look anything like me either. Well, that's odd. I thought for sure you two were related. You guys are so similar. Oh, there is one big difference, though. She does not know what magical girls are. Oh, just leave me alone. The more I talk to her, the more it hits me. I really know nothing about her. But there's one thing I am sure of. There isn't anyone quite like her. Not that I know many people to begin with. But even then, I'm sure. I'll never find someone like her again! The storm is gone, but the thunder's still there. What's up with that, huh?